Hey, in this video, we're going to learn how to install MySQL on Microsoft Windows. So as far as the topics here, the first thing we're going to do is download MySQL, and then we'll install MySQL, and then finally we'll verify our installation. All right, so a lot of good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. All right, so what we need to do is open up a web browser and visit the MySQL website. So here in my browser, I'll type in dev.mysql.com slash downloads, and this will take me to the MySQL download site. All right, once I'm at the page, I want to download the MySQL community server. And on the community server page, they have an option here for downloading it from Microsoft Windows. I'll go ahead and select that option for download. This will take me to the download page and I'll select the option here for downloading the Microsoft Windows MSI installer and I'll choose the web version. It's a small, lightweight version. Now normally they want you to log in, but in this case I'll say no thanks, just go ahead and start my download. Alright, so your browser will prompt you to save the file. I'll go ahead and save the file and I'll start downloading it to my file system. Okay, great, so it's downloaded. We can open up our Windows Explorer, move into the Downloads folder, and now what I wanna do is simply start the installer. So this will start up a normal Microsoft Windows install wizard. All right, so the standard thing here, right? License agreement, go ahead and check the box, I accept the agreement, go ahead and click Next. Um, here we wanna keep the developer defaults, so just make no changes there, developer default. Next, they're gonna um, check some of the requirements on your system. So the first product listed here is the MySQL Workbench. We need to install the Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime, but the installer will actually do this for you. So we we'll simply select that and we hit Execute, and it'll go out to the web and it'll download the appropriate um, dependencies that you need. So I'll just click, 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 accept all the defaults um, as it goes through this example. And at that point, we have everything available for MySQL Workbench. They'll prompt us about some of the other products. You can just go ahead and um, click past that and then just hit execute and it'll start downloading all the dependencies that you need. So uh, this will take a while. Um, I'll kind of step away and I'll come back once everything is downloaded. Okay, great. So we've downloaded everything. Note here we have all green checks here and the status is complete for everything. So we're in good shape. So we can go ahead and click next. Uh, click next one more time. Up here, we'll uh, set up some of the um, networking. We'll just keep all the defaults, click Next. At this point, we need to define our root password. So you can give whatever you want for your root password. You can call it foobar or whatever. I'm gonna give a long password just so it comes out as a strong password, but you can give whatever you want. You can give a four letter password if you'd like. The key item here is that you need to remember that password. Make sure you write it down. <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and click Next. I'll keep the defaults here. It's gonna run MySQL as a Windows service. Um, I'll click Execute, and it'll go off and it'll start applying our server uh, configurations. I'll hit Finish, I'll hit Next. And now we're gonna do a simple test to connect to our server. Click the Check button, Connection is successful, we're okay. And then we hit Next and Finish and Next one more time. And at this point we hit Finish, and it'll actually start up the MySQL server. So now what we're gonna do is verify our installation. So we're gonna use this MySQL Workbench. It's simply a web GUI tool. I'm sorry, it's simply just a GUI tool that allows you to connect to your MySQL database. So here I just enter that same password I did during installation. And at this point I have a GUI open and I can actually query some of the tables. So MySQL always starts off with some sample tables for you. Um, I'm gonna access this one table called City and I'll just do just a right click, say select rows, and this will give me all the rows from this sample table. So again, really here, we're just verifying that we can connect to the database and do a basic query. So this all looks really, really good. So our server's up and running and we can query it.